Good morning, my Mystic Tribe. How has everybody been? I felt called to do a message for you guys today. And in the United States, tomorrow is Labor Day. And I hope everybody in the United States has a happy and safe holiday tomorrow and holiday weekend, period. But uh, as you can see, I have got my little tablescape all set up for the fall and Halloween seasons. And I'm sitting here just looking at it. And Spirit says to me, why don't you throw some cards out? Do some card slinging. And see what comes up for them for this upcoming week. So this is going to kind of cover some messages what you can expect this coming week um i will have the dates in the title bar i know it starts from let's see the seventh through whenever i guess but these readings are pretty much timeless okay we have dress of alchemy this is about releasing your power you know, that you know, harvest time, fall, autumn, it is about, you know, harvesting your crops. The seeds that you have planted all year long, your harvest time is coming in. And this is a very fitting card the Halloween season, you know, we ghosts, goblins, witches, you know, and Halloween, or as in our world, All Hallows Eve, when the veil between our world and the spiritual world is at its thinnest, the alchemist is creating those special brews, those special rituals to start manifesting things. So it's like, now is the time to start planning. What do you want to manifest for the rest of the year? What do you want to harvest? I need, if somebody could tell me where I can get some of those special, ah, uh, what are they called? Those little art easels. They're real tiny, but they're perfect for um, putting cards on. That's what I need. If you know where I can get those, please leave that in the comments below. Okay. I was just talking about rituals. This is a card of invocation, ritual, honoring the spirit world, honoring our spirit guides and those in the spiritual realm. And this is, you see that magical, this is like, it's like dividing between the spiritual world and the physical world. And this is calling in your gods. This is honoring them and thanking them for their help. And this, another side of this message is about when it comes to the manifestation, invocation is like a prayer. It is claiming what is rightfully yours. So you say your little prayer, you create your ritual. You create your ritual and you say your prayers. Invocation is putting it into action, activating it. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. 
we have the owl. This is about being wise and seeing things and understanding and making wise decisions. And when you take action, doing it in a very smart way. This is the all seeing. This is, owls sometimes represent spiritual connections as well. When you see an owl, so many times there's a spirit around that owl. And that owl is guiding that spirit to you. And that spirit is there to offer you wise advice, wise counsel, guidance through whatever the circumstances. And I want to do one more card from this. This is the Halloween Oracle. I'm probably going to have to start taking this out throughout the year because this has such good cards in it. You're going to be seeing me using this quite a bit. And then we have the graveyard. Unnecessary fear. Again, I'm picking up on spiritual connections, ancestors, loved ones who have passed. It doesn't even have to be loved ones. Maybe you're in a home that you feel like somebody's in a house that they know that they're not living there alone. Or if you have a family, it's not just your family. There's somebody else there that is unseen. And there may be a sense of uncertainty and a sense of fear surrounding that entity that's in your home. But my guides, my spirits, they are telling me that this spirit means no harm to you. Going back to the owl, you may even have an owl that sits outside. And that is a symbol that this spirit has that's living in your home, that's been there, or you're living in their home. They invite you there. They want to communicate. And I'm even hearing a little bit of uh, humor here that they want to give your, give you their opinion on any kind of changes or decorating that you have done. It's just, okay, that's just a, that was an off the wall thing, but that came to me. It's like, I feel a woman, actually. A woman who says, well, if I were you, I would do this. I would put this, the couch here, the ottoman there you, you, you understand where I'm going with that it's just like she had a real s sense of design she had a real eye for it and she loved beauty that's this spirit that is no longer with you know who's living in your home whoever this reading's for she had a thing about beauty she liked beautiful surroundings she would, and I'm hearing flowers and plants. She used to have a lot of house plants. And when you put house plants in your home, she smiles. Okay. But she's also there for counsel, for guidance. She likes you. That, now, that little bit is not for everybody. That's for somebody specific. But for the general collective, the, um, the message I'm getting here is not to be afraid of the spiritual connection, of that veil being thin, of spirit visits from the spirit world, not to fear it. They mean you no harm. They're there to guide and counsel you and they talk through your dreams that you may get intuitive thoughts instincts that you need to pay attention to and they some there's spirits here that want to help guide you through 
creating and manifesting and obtaining exactly what is yours and guide you through putting it into action. And this is the Halloween Tarot. I have trimmed it. I, when I first got it, I trimmed it and edged it. Inky edges. Pumpkins. This is pumpkins is the pinnacle suit. This is working as a team. This is really working diligently, being recognized for your work. This is also, you know, really focusing and getting to the finish line. Someone's working very hard to the finish line to accomplish their goals. Somebody has something specific in mind that they needed to get done. Um, Ten of bats. Somebody's working on themselves because somebody's been injured. Bats is air. Air is swords. Okay. So ten of swords is like, you know, somebody's been injured. Somebody's been hurt. Somebody may have been let down or even pinned into a situation that they didn't know how they were going to get out of. That's where the spiritual connection is coming from. The spiritual guidance that spirit is trying to guide you through how to get past that. And this is also telling me that through your hard work, the worst is over. You've gotten through the worst of it. And with the six of imps, imps are symbolizing uh, wands. And the imps is telling me that, you know, with a six, it's victory. This is somebody's having victory over adversity after they've really been working very hard to overcome. Wow. And somebody is manifesting a solution, a win, a victory over a very difficult circumstances here. And you have your spirit guides and spirits coming to you for assistance. And we have the Empress. You know, somebody's, he has victory. Somebody's leading to abundance here. Nine of Imps, this is somebody who has been through the war, who has been, you know, you've been damaged. There's two cards here saying that there has been some damage. You have the battle scars, but I feel like somebody who is becoming abundant, finding their own, working on themselves, knowing their value <coughs> and knowing their worth and standing up. Somebody's finding their power and finally standing up on their two, own two feet and they are stronger than they've ever been before. Three of imps. You got two threes here. That is change. That threes are growth, expansion. And that is, you know, somebody has been working on their plan to overcome this and they are headed towards victory. Okay, and this is putting the plan into action. The two is coming up with the plan, making the decisions, planning things out. This is putting that into action. And somebody's at that finish line. Somebody's been working really hard trying to put this into action here. Seven of pumpkins. Somebody was stuck in this for quite some time and they have been just sitting around waiting for a solution very patiently. But it's like spirit is saying that you got tired of waiting and you decided to take action on yourself. And that is leading to a new start. You know, this victory is putting you on the right path that you find that strength again. You, it's like that path is lit up. It's full of adventure. Somebody going on a new adventure, six of ghosts. This screams children. 
Six of ghosts or the cup suit or water. And this is, these two together, this is motherhood. Somebody could be having a baby. Maybe that's what this is. Somebody was struggling, felt that they couldn't conceive. That's not for everybody, but you are going to conceive. You are going to become a mother um, or father. Uh, for some of you, this is somebody who is nurturing their children as, okay, or their, or their children is playing a very big, important role. This could be also mending a relationship with children. She could be, this is somebody who could have been nostalgic over the past, but I feel more like this is mother and child type energy here. I feel very strong as somebody is like creating in a, and if somebody's going to become pregnant and this is coming in very quickly with the night of bats. Under the deck, we have the ace of imps, which is the ace of wands. This is, this is fantastic energy here, my friends. I do feel as though somebody does need to release something from the past. And maybe that is where working on yourself this month or this week comes into play. You're working on a release. And your plans are coming in and they're going to be moving very fast and it's time to get unstuck. Release that old energy from whatever happened, whether it's recent past or distance past, that has left you kind of stuck where you're at right now. But overall, I feel this is a very positive reading. Ghosts, you know, taking the card meaning, tossing it aside, the ghosts are drawing my attention, which is bringing me back to this spiritual connection here. This could actually be a spiritual connection from someone in your past. Some of you may have had a child who have passed away and that child might be trying to come through and deliver a message to you. But there's definitely spiritual messages coming in and the closer that we get to Halloween, or All Hallows Eve, the stronger this spiritual connection will be. And don't fear it. It's nothing to be afraid of. But overall, you are headed in the right direction. There is a lot of change that is happening. A lot of mental activity, a lot of communications. There's it's like you may feel like you are caught up in a whirlwind. Sometimes the Knight of Bats or Knight of Swords can represent, um, it can be, have like tower-like energy. He's coming in, he's tearing things down, he's tearing, you know, and he comes in very swiftly. And you get caught up in this whirlwind but he brings tremendous change. He's very focused. He's not, th he's not being distracted by anything. It's like, he, I would say he's like a combination of a couple of the major arcana. He reminds me of the tower in one, in, in one way. Another way he reminds me of the chariot, being very focused. And it's high energy and you have to harness that energy. Harness that energy and really use it to propel you forward towards that Six of Cups, towards that victory and that new start, that new adventure. It's like feeling like you get a new lease on life. And whatever this adversity was in the past, you come out stronger in the end. OK, 
Okay, this is what I have for you. I do thank you for watching. Please do make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. I love each and every one of you, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, I wouldn't be here still doing readings today if it wasn't for you, my Mystic Tribe. So I will catch you in the next video. Blessed be.